Right, this time, let's prove by induction something about the size of a power set. Remember that a power set of a set is the set of all its subsets. That sounds a bit like a tongue twister, doesn't it? I'd better write it on the board. So if S let S be a set, the power set of S, this is the power set, is the set of all subsets. Uh, there was a video about this in the sets series, and what we're going to prove is that if S has n elements in it, so when we put these fences on either side of S, that's the number of elements in S. So that's the number of elements in S. Then the question is, how many subsets are there? And the answer is 2 to the power of n. So you can prove it by just reasoning about what a subset looks like, but we're going to prove it by induction. I'm going to do it by induction. So in fact, we can start with n equals 0 here, because if our set has 0 elements in it, then it's the empty set. So let's start with n equals 0. So s must be then s, if it's got n elements, must be the empty set. How many subsets are there of the empty set? Well, there's just the empty set. So the power set of the empty set has only one element. Precisely one element. If the example with the empty set confuses you, you can try doing just the set with one element. So you can look at n equals 1. If you have n equals 1, then s has only one element. s has one element. In which case, let's, supposing that element is called x, then what are the possible subsets? Well, there are two possible subsets, right? There's the whole thing, and there's the empty set. So there are two possible subsets of this one, either the whole thing or the empty set. So here, there are two elements. So the power set in this case has two elements, which really is 2 to the power of 1. So if you're not happy, you should try to understand this zero case, but I hope you can convince yourself of the n equals 1 case, perhaps a little bit more easily. So now let's do the induction step. I'd best take some of this off the board. I'll take this part off. So we've done the beginning part, so now we have to do the induction step. Induction step. We assume that it's true for n equals k, which is to say that if, if s has k elements, so for any set with k elements, there are 2 to the power of k subsets of it, i.e. for any s with K elements, the power set has two to the K elements. Right, so now we have to try and prove it's true for n equals K plus one. So we show it's true for n equals K plus one. So what do we have to do to begin with? Well, we have to consider some set S with K plus one elements in it. Consider S with k plus 1 elements. Now, how can we relate this to the previous case of k? So perhaps um, we need to think about what these k plus 1 elements are and what a subset looks like. Well, if you think about the subsets of this new bigger s, there are two possibilities. It could either be 
Okay, let's draw, kind of draw a picture of this. Let's pick out, let's imagine that this, this element here, x, is a kind of extra element. So we can divide s up into a set with k elements together with this extra one. So here we have k elements. And here we have the extra one, which is x, so that we have k plus 1 elements all together. So then a subset of the whole thing either does or does not contain x. There are two cases. Now, if it doesn't contain x, then it must be a subset of this part, which is a subset of an, a set with k elements. Or, if it does contain x, then one of its elements is x, and then the rest of it must be a subset from over here. So in either case, we have to use subsets of the part with only k elements. So are there pick, so we pick an element x in S. So any subset, any subset of S either contains x or doesn't contain x. Now I feel like I want a bit more board at this point, so let's use this top part of the board. So let's call this subset. So let's, if x is a subset of S and X is not in that subset, well, then X must be a subset of the set containing S where we've removed X, okay? But that's, this is a set of K elements. S has K plus one elements. This is a set of K elements. So how many sub sub subsets are there? Well, we know how many subsets there are of this, because this has k elements, so the induction hypothesis says that there are two to the k of these ones. So this one is a set with k elements. So there are two to the k such subsets. Okay, so now the other case is if x is in x, then x with x removed is a subset of s with x removed. So in order to pick a subset that does contain x, we just have to pick the rest of the set, and that has to be a subset of this thing. But again, this is a subset, this is a set with k elements. So what we have to pick is some subset of a set of k elements. And we know how many those are by the induction hypothesis. There are two to the k of those as well. So this is also a set with k elements. So there are Again, x is determined by a subset of that, so there are 2 to the k of these, 2 to the k such subset x. Now I've kind of run out of board again. Let's take this bit off. So, there are two cases. Either x is in the subset, ah, running out of time, in which case there are two to the k of them, or x is in it, in which case there are two to the k of them. So the total is two to the k plus two to the k, but that's just two times two to the k which is 2 to the k plus 1, which is what we were trying to do for the induction step. Finish it off. So by induction, the result is true for all n in the natural numbers.